Welcome back to this new video, guys, of TechPress. Now, there is an actually common question, which is how to actually create a Gmail account without a phone number. This is a really common question. And let's solve the question and let's see if there is an actual alternative. Now, um, a Google often posts a phone number for security reasons, while the Google's requirement can change frequently based on locations and detected activity. The most successful method involves creating the account through your phone and of course the, uh, the settings instead of a web browser. Now here's the simple step by step of what you can actually do. Now Google is generally more trusting of a request to add an account made directly through a trusted mobile device system settings, making the phone number optional. So if you have your Android, you can open your phone setting application, scroll down to the accounts. Add account, select the Google account, and when sign in screen appears, you can create the account at the bottom of the section. But if you wanted to skip the option is missing, if Google insists on a phone number, it means its automated system flagged the account creation as potentially suspicious. Example, uh, you have created multiple accounts recently, or your IP address, for example, is flagged. So in this specific scenario, what you need to do is to have a few options, for example, to try the incognito mode. On the desktop mode, Instead of just creating an actual account, I'm going to go directly and scroll all my way down here. I'm going to go for new private mode window. And I'm going to try to sign in process again. Clears any cookies or session data that might be flagging directly here into my device. I'm going to go directly here into my Gmail account. And try to go for create your actual account. Now here's going to be really important to choose the option that says my personal used. I choose my first name. I choose my last name. I enter my month, my date, and the actual year. And usually this might be doing the actual work. Usually this might be doing this actual process really, really fast. I choose a passcode and I confirm. In this case, I won't be actually creating an actual Gmail because we have now added multiple Gmail accounts and we don't want to get flagged. But there's an actual method that you can use to use, which is trying creating the account on a different computer or, or phone that hasn't been used to create an actual Google account recently. So if you must use a number to create the account, you can typically remove it immediately after the account is created and verified. So you can always go directly into your account directly into your account to try to creating the account differently. For example, go to manage your Google account. And here, what I can do is to select the personal information tab and into my contact information. What I need to do is to choose my phone number and remove that phone number. You might be seeing that this element is blurred because of course this element of course um, is really sensitive content, but these are uh, all the actual phones that I have used to generate and added uh, my actual account. So what I need to do of course is to reload the page to try to delete the phone numbers that were aligned with them. And once I have now done this process, I needed to reload the page once again and stop verifying those and I am actually good to go. So the last thing to do is just to delete this element, select this phone number and I choose to delete my phone, remove the number and this number is now not going to be working anymore with this specific Google account. This actually is going to be a really, really, really great process to say, take that in mind when it comes to, uh, when it comes to course to checking out the email support. So last, um, the last thing, of course, that I need to recommend, of course, is to make sure that you are going to be always using the element of a website, a web browser that has no um, history element. So if you go directly here into the settings, you want to focus into all the way down. You choose the option that says reset the settings or to choose the option that says the system. So you can uh, delete all the history of your uh let's say computer, for example, in this case, the advanced mode, I select to delete the download history, the cookies, all the cache, all the passcodes, all the out-of-field from data, all the site settings and all the hosted application, everything deleted directly in there. And of course, I believe that you might not be having any issue right there, but just in case you can try out to connect into another public internet Wi-Fi, you can go into the Starbucks, you can go uh, into another mall, whatever, or to go into a friend's, co uh, so you can try out and generate your new 
uh, email account just in case this one does not work using the actual same operating system but this is just into an extreme and extreme cases so uh, hopefully you guys was a pretty useful information for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how to get started with this kind of elements thank you guys once again for watching uh, this video and hopefully with all this being said we can see you guys next time see you soon